Guys, this is Chad with Tempest Overland, and thanks for tuning into this week's episode. Hey guys, this is Chad. I wanted to uh, walk over with you guys my dual battery system that I put in my Explorer. It's just a very basic system, just run an auxiliary battery to either air up my tires or run some lights, you know, setting up camp or anything. Basically anytime I want to run lights with a vehicle off or do anything with the vehicle off to where I'm not going to kill my main battery. So got you flipped around here. This is my primary battery. From my primary battery I run a six gauge cable up to a hundred amp solenoid. This is my key on power switch. So this solenoid is open, meaning the circuit is closed when the vehicle's off. Once the ignition is on, the vehicle's running, this closes the solenoid, opens the circuit, flows our six gauge cables all the way over to our auxiliary battery. Now this is just a small 35 amp hour battery. It ran me about 60 bucks. It's just a very small battery, just like I said, to run lights, you know, my winch if, God forbid, I need it with the vehicle off for some reason, and my air compressor for run airing up tires afterwards. So that's all the system is designed to do is have a battery to run equipment when the vehicle is off. It is not a second starting battery or a deep cycle. It is just a small secondary battery, but it's, it's a very basic system. The system only costs me 120 bucks to complete. It's just a set of jumper cables as far as gauge wire because buying gauge wire is expensive in its own. So that's just a quick run through. I mean, like I said, it's a, it's a very basic system. It's not meant to be two cranking batteries. It is a small auxiliary battery for small jobs when the vehicle's off. I do need to get a bigger alternator or a higher amperage alternator. This one, it charges good if I'm on the trail, but if I'm just on a short trip, you know, where I'm only going for half an hour or something and the vehicle sat for a couple days, that secondary battery doesn't have a lot of juice in it. I can definitely feel if I put the compressor on it versus when I've been running it for a few hours, then that battery has a lot more juice to it. So, all right, thanks guys. Thanks for checking it out.